Okay, so now that we have Sigwin installed, um, we will set up an SSH key pair to identify ourselves to Git. First, so open up Sigwin if you don't already have it open, and then type ssh-keygen-space-trsa space dash capital C and then quotation mark followed by your email. So I'm going to put osloy at gmail.com. And now it'll ask me where, to, where I want to save it. Just hit enter to accept the default and then it'll ask me for a passphrase. So you'll notice as I type this out it doesn't show anything and just uh, the reason for that is security and so now it'll ask me to type it again just to make sure that I didn't mess up while I did that um, and when I'm done typing the password I'll hit enter and on this I will purposely get it wrong the second time to show you what happens it'll just ask you for the passphrase again so uh, I'm typing a phrase top of the morning to you. And then when I'm done I hit enter and you'll notice that it uh, displayed this fingerprint thing and some ASCII art. Um, and just to check that the file is actually there we'll type ls space dot ssh and we can see id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub. And so just to see the contents of that file, you can do cat space dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub. And you'll see the contents of that file. And that'll be important in a minute when we put our SSH key on GitHub.